Hey y'all and welcome to today's Bald and Beautiful chat. I'm really sorry about that glare on my glasses. I've sat here and tried to work on it and I just can't get it to go away so I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, Ridge and Brooke are still at Liam's and working on him about forgiving Steffi. Ridge said Liam is the victim but not uh, the only victim in this. And Hope talks to Steffi about what she did with Bill. If things don't work out, she could, uh, Hope said that Steffi could only blame herself. For, the Forsters are gathered uh, talking about wedding arrangements, and that's everybody but um, Ridge and Brooke. And they're having a lot of fun and delegating this and that to certain ones and and uh, so they're enjoying that. Um, Thorn tries to leave because he doesn't feel like this is uh, something he's going to be helpful with and all. And um, everybody stops him and they all joke with him about it. And so he stays. And they say that Carter will officiate, and instead of having a DJ or a band, that they will have just music playing throughout the house on the stereo system. Um, Hope does want things to work out with Steffi, she says. And Steffi says she is going to fight uh, for her marriage to work out. Ridge blames Bill again for the situation with Steffi and is pushy for Liam to forgive Steffi and come to the wedding. Uh, Steffi said Hope thinks she's a horrible person and Hope says no, she doesn't think that at all. Hope said they are family above all else. Uh, Hope said that Liam just needs time and not to be pushed and that sort of thing. Liam said Steffi made it clear that she was a willing participant in what happened with Bill. And Ridge, he told uh, Ridge and Brooke that, and Ridge doesn't believe it. Uh, I don't think he will ever believe it because that's his daughter, and he just doesn't think that she would do something like that. Um, just come to the wedding, Ridge tells Liam, and... Uh, then back to the Foresters, and they talk more about the flowers and arrangements. And Pam said that they should include Steffi in um, the wedding somehow. Ridge goes to see uh, Steffi, and he tells her he went to Liam's hotel room to talk to him about coming to the wedding. And Steffi asked, did Ridge get through to Liam? Uh, Steffi says Hope dropped by to see her, and um, Ridge asked, did Hope upset you? Steffi told Ridge what was said between the two of them. Ridge offers to make Steffi tea, and she said, you don't even know how to make tea, do you? And then she said, no, it's okay. She doesn't want any, and Ridge said that she is not okay. Ridge blames it all on Bill once again and said Bill should have protected Steffi, and <clears throat> he should have called, uh, he named over a list of people that Bill should have called to help Steffi out. And Steffi asked if Liam was coming to the wedding, and Ridge said he didn't say yes or no. Katie acts very uh, upbeat, and everybody starts asking her who the new mystery man in her life is. And um, she said that she hasn't admitted that there's a, a mystery man. And when everyone leaves, she looks at Thorn. Steffi goes back to see Liam. She knocks on the door and he answers it. And he lets her in. She said she knows Ridge and Brooke were there. It's um, She told Liam that it's so wrong being apart. Maybe they should... They both say they don't want to go to the wedding, but then uh, Steffi says maybe they should go to the wedding together, just sit together for a few hours. Maybe they can learn from Ridge and Brooke and look at all that Ridge and Brooke have been through, and they're still getting married. 
and uh, Katie jokes to Thorn if her job doesn't work out, she could go into party planning. Thorn said she seems so much more free, uh, like she is now the situation she's in. And Brooke told Hope that love conquers most obstacles, so they hope Liam will come to the wedding. Hope said Liam should decide for himself if he wants to go to the wedding and not uh, outside pressure. And Brooke looks at Hope and asks her if she's still interested in Liam. Liam asked Steffi if she is taking care of herself, taking her vitamins. Uh, she said she has to set alarms in order to remember to take her vitamins, that she's never been the best at that sort of thing. And then she asked again, would Liam please come to the wedding? They could uh, come separately and she could save him a seat and uh, they would just sit together and hopefully people would think their situation is not as bad as it is and hopefully their situation will turn around. And please come and watch uh, Brooke and Ridge get married. And Liam said, I don't know. And so that's the closest thing to them getting back together or him going to the wedding that I've heard. And um, Ridge just seems like a, a brat in a way, keeping on and nagging until he gets his way. And what Bill and Steffi did was such a serious thing that uh, I think he ought to lay off some. But, um, I understand how parents can be sometimes. So, that was the show. And today, we are going to talk about Fred Willard, who plays John Forrester. And that, as you know, is Eric's brother. And, uh, he doesn't appear too often on the show. And I really don't like his character when he does appear because he overacts, I think. Um, he just seems kind of uh, goofy in a way. Uh, it's okay to have that character. I just don't particularly care for Fred Willard playing that character. But anyway, he was born September 18th, 1939, and he's 78 years old. He's an American actor, comedian, voice actor, and writer. He's best known for improvisational comedy. Fred is known for his roles on This Is, uh, this is Spinal Tap, Waiting for Guffman, Best in Show, A Mighty Win, For Your Consideration, Mascots, and the Acroman films. He received the... Uh, Emmy nominations for his recurring role on Everybody Loves Raymond as Robert uh, Barron's father-in-law, Hank McDougall. In 2010, he got an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a comedy series for Modern Family. He began acting in 1963. He married Mary Willard in 1968 and has one child. Uh, uh, and it's a daughter, and her name is Hope, and then he has a grandson named Freddie. And Fred is the founding member of the improv group Ace Trucking Company. The group appeared regularly on the Johnny Carson Show, and this is Tom Jones. Fred is a U.S. Army veteran. He has several charities he is largely involved in, including Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Fred has been in countless films and television shows, specials, and improvs. He has been nominated for many different numerous awards and won some of them. Some of them. On July 18, 2012, he was arrested for doing something that he shouldn't have been doing in an adult theater. He was never charged, but did pay $380 for a diversion program. He said he is very remorseful, but that he did nothing wrong. And um, when I say that I don't care for Fred playing Eric's brother, 
I think the main thing is Fred's voice. It's a very distinctive voice. You would know it from uh, his voiceovers uh, or voice acting and all that. And I just don't think that it uh, fits in with the show. Anyway, that is it uh, for this week. I appreciate all of you that uh, come to spend time with me and um, hear about what went on with the Bald and the Beautiful. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, healthy weekend. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you Monday, hopefully. Bye-bye.